Welcome to our market update on cryptocurrencies. My name is Gregory Moll and I'm a portfolio manager here at Seba. Let me jump right in. What have cryptocurrency markets been doing lately? Um, on, here on the left hand side we are showing a, uh, a year-to-date chart of Bitcoin, Ethereum and the kind of broad cryptocurrency market uh, characterized by the Bitwise 10 index. And what you can really see here is that Ethereum has kind of led the cryptocurrency markets uh, in the past few months. So what we can see is that towards the beginning of the year, um, where Bitcoin and, and the broad market had a strong run, Ethereum kind of um, acted as a sort of high beta asset. So it had performed particularly well in during this upwards market. And then when we've seen the retracement in the wake of COVID-19, it has really suffered um, more heavily. So the drawdown were more heavily, um, was more heavily affected than the, the, the broader cryptocurrency market. And then from uh, their troughs um, in mid-March, we have seen a very, very strong rally in the broad cryptocurrency market and in Ethereum, we have seen an even stronger rally. Um, I think this rally was partially or even mainly attributed to the advent of decentralized finance or DeFi, how we call it. Um, although we believe the concept to be in general sound and innovative, um, this has led to definitely led to irrational exuberance in some part of the cryptocurrency markets where a lot of projects have gained multi-billion uh, dollar valuations in just a few, in a matter of few days. Um, decentralized finance we believe is a very interesting concept. So the way it works basically is just that I as a market participant can basically lend out my liquidity um, in, into a uh, smart contract and another market participant who kind of needs trading and lending services um, can use that and I get paid back interest rates in terms of a native token. Um, and so we believe that this was partially um, had a lot to do with the, with the gains that we've seen in Ethereum. Um, we believe that there is that the rally was always uh, poised for a correction. We believe that this is a healthy uh, market correction and will kind of help uh, separate the wheat from the chaff in this market. So we think this is a good thing in general. And on the right hand side, you can really see the Bitcoin versus our own proprietary kind of smart beta index. And there you can really see that we've added a lot of value year to date. We've outperformed Bitcoin by roughly 27%. So this really um, underlies the value proposition for our index. Then I briefly want to highlight uh, when it comes to Bitcoin, two interesting um, developments that have been taking place in the past few months that we would like to highlight. So we believe that Bitcoin is kind of um, evolving from a pure technology play much more to a macro and kind of inflation hedge play. And to, to uh, kind of illustrate that we are showing the three month rolling correlation between Bitcoin and gold. And this correlation has increased massively year to date. This is on an all time high around 0.6. So this really shows that investors are kind of buying into this storyline of Bitcoin as a sort of digital gold, which kind of makes sense since Bitcoin is so similar, in so many aspects from an economic perspective to gold. It has no intrinsic value and it is scarce in the sense that the supply cannot be manipulated. And on the right hand side, we also want to emphasize the three month rolling correlation between Bitcoin and the US dollar index, as well as between gold and US dollar index. And especially in the past few weeks, um, where we have seen again an increase in, 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 in 
these sort of quantitative easing policy measures and a further shift in the Fed's policy uh, towards flexible average inflation targeting. That's this correlation has become more negative. So what does that mean? That every time that the, the kind of when the when the US dollar um, suffers that Bitcoin will gain. And this is normal to a certain extent because that's what's happening basically with every kind of um, um, commodity. But nonetheless, we think that a lot more people are becoming much more worried about the longer term implication of today's monetary policy um, as on, on, on and kind of erode the trust in a lot of our traditional fiat currencies. I would like to conclude um, with our three investment views for the near-term futures. Um, basically, there were, we are saying that there are two distinct storylines evolving. One is kind of Bitcoin as a social construct and kind of parallel to gold that kind of extracts value from its store or safe haven um, 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 kind of value proposition. And the other one is platform tokens extracting value as a protocol for these, not only decentralized finance, but a lot of different applications being built on top of it. Then, as mentioned before, we think that the market was poised for a healthy correction. We think that um, certain parts of the market were were kind of were kind of uh, uh, characterized by irrational exuberance. So we have seen this uh, uh, a rally that was that that happened in in a short period of time, and maybe probably too quickly. Similar as to what we've seen in the in the tech market, in the tech equity markets. Um, and last but not least, we also want to emphasize that we see really structurally a lot of arguments that kind of make us optimistic on the overall space. We believe that Bitcoin will become mainstream and that it has massive potential due to the favorable macro backdrop and the massive upside potential in terms of market capitalization when you compare it to gold because it's still only a fraction of the market cap of gold. And then we also believe that decentralized finance is here to stay, even if it got sold off heavily in the past few days. We believe that the longer term implication of these projects are here to stay.